What's up guys, Tricky Street here. Today I got a new video for y'all. So today, we got some people out of town. So some people from Colleen coming down to Austin to meet up with us and then we're gonna head out to Mexico. They wanna run, there's a couple AMGs that wanna run me. Um, and I think we're gonna be putting some money on it. So, um, should be fun. I know one AMG is, they're both C63s. I know one of them is just a, uh, I think just like CAD delete intake and tune. And then the other one is like full boltons in the 85. So um, I'm expecting to get the cat delete and intake tune one. I'm expecting to get that one probably pretty easily. But the full boltons one, I have no idea. I think that one can honestly go either way. Um, I know they probably make about the same power that I make stock. Um, so I would assume full boltons is probably going to be about the same power as me. I don't know, however, I've never even really been around AMGs all that much. But anyways, I think it should be a really good run. So here's the footage of those runs, and I hope you enjoy. guys I took an L to the full Boltons one uh, it was a really good run and honestly and I'm not trying to make any type of excuses he beat me fair and square but I think if I was on my street tires and if we did like a like a 60 roll or something I honestly think I maybe would have gotten him the reason why I say that is because these drag radials really do slow me down a lot up top 
Like after 130, the car is pretty much done. I think I'll top out top out at like 160 something probably on these drag radials. Like it's just it slows me down a crazy amount. And I fit over 180 on the street tires. So I know tire choice does make a huge difference. And speaking of tire choice, he was on the Toyo R Triple A Rs, which is like the best of both worlds to be honest. I mean, you're getting a hard compound tire that's really sticky. So you're gonna stick down low and you're gonna uh, not have any type of, it's not gonna slow you down any up top. So he has the right tire choice, that's for sure. I kind of wish at this point I would have went with those tires being that I was on a 20 inch wheel anyways. It probably would have been smarter to go with those wheels. But um, but anyways, you know, I'm on drag radials. I think I'd get them from a dig. But, uh, but it was a good run nonetheless. It took him a long time to actually start pulling on me. And if you see in the video, I was actually pulling on him a little bit up until probably after 120. And then that's when he starts walking. But, uh, but it's a good run nonetheless. I'm sure we'll run it back at some point. And uh, maybe after I do cam, maybe he'll want to run it back. I don't know. But uh, I can't wait to do cam and heads, man. I really can't. And uh, this thing should make some really good power with just the cam and heads. But I got to get the, the converter and all that stuff too. So that's a lot of money. But uh, I'm hoping to get it done by 2K. I don't know, honestly. Like, I think it's going to be really pushing it as far as uh, as far as far money goes. Because that's a $6,500 job, including the all the parts and including the labor. And I believe they're just going to pull the whole motor in order to actually to do all that. Which, honestly, would probably be the easiest thing. And I, I don't mean easiest as far as... Because like, you're going to have to pull the whole motor, so obviously that's not going to be easy. But at the same time, if you go ahead and do that, you'll have easy access to all the heads. You'll have easy access to the cam. You can go ahead and swap the converter. So it's just, it'll be way easier that way, honestly. And probably more time, uh, time friendly as far as once you actually get the motor out, you'll be able to knock everything out probably pretty quick. But uh, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And I will catch you on the next video.